Hello again and again and again and again. Uh, the guitars I have in the studio are here for all oh, for very specific reasons, of course. There's no random guitaring going on. But uh, when I started working with the studio, I um, started looking around and I had these ideas of maybe I should buy a really good electric guitar. But I realized quite quickly that that's a very, very, very bad idea. And why is that a bad idea? Well, because if you have a studio like this, uh, and uh, bands come here, or artists come come here, they usually bring their own, like their their main guitar, their main axe, and that is usually a Strat or a Les Paul or a um, Tele or something, a really good one. Because if you're going to spend your life playing on one guitar, um, you tend to invest a fair amount of money into it. So what I have done is that I've bought guitars that had a very specific sound and were special guitars and a lot of the times that means that they're shit that they're crap and they're like pawn shop guitars and and flea market guitars because it it takes a lot of energy to make a really good strat sound like a like tin can with rubber strings on it but if you actually have a tin can with rubber strings that you paid five bucks for at a flea market you've saved some time and you've also like widened the spectrum. But this uh, <laughs> is a bit of column A and a bit of column B. It's a, and I mean, none of column B. It's a specialty guitar and it cost me money. And uh, this is like one of the areas where my wife really shines because uh, when I was there in the shop in Los Angeles, uh, she said, will you regret not buying it? And I was like, yeah, I probably will. And she just went, okay, buy it. And what it is, is it's a Jerry Jones electric sitar. this buzz bridge which makes the strings buzz and usually my cables do that but now it's an intentional thing but <laughs> and so that gives it that twang that's supposed to sound like a guitar but these were used uh, in the 60s by people who didn't want to drag their guitars out on stage with their 98 12 and tune them under spotlights but you could use one of these and another good thing is that you could just play it like a guitar so you've got your ordinary guitar stuff but then you've got your resonator strings that you tune in the key but I'm lazy so I'm not gonna do that but you can just hear what it sounds like it's great for your horror movie moments but I've used this live and uh, a lot of the times I use it for backwards guitars because it sounds amazing because it goes well, if you're just playing now, it goes, which means that when you play it backwards, you go, and that makes it sound even more backwards than if it's just straight. But what I also use it a lot for is just like doing one chord in the beginning of the chorus, for instance, just to make it sparkle and make it shiny. So, Electric sitars. Everyone needs one. Rush out and buy them, and the music scene in the world will be better. Well, you can come here and record it here with me, and uh, I'll put on some coffee and I'll I'll bore you with telling you the music I listen to on my way over. It was Jethro Tull again. All right, bye. I'm going to record a backwards guitar. <laughs>